Celebrate this year's honor flight here in Clarksburg will have around 100 veterans, about 70 guardians. Now, this is a project that sends local veterans to Washington, D.C. 12 News, Barbara Ron caught up with the first-time guardian on this legacy series, and she keeps us alive. They served, and if I can do a tiny little thing, you know, why not? Kathy Burnside is no stranger to veterans, as her own late husband, Greg Burnside, fought in the Vietnam War, and years later became a guardian for veterans going on the honor flight. He was thrilled with it, and it seemed like the men that he was assigned to, and he had actually kind of picked out some of the guys that he wanted to take, and they just thought it was awesome, and they loved it. After her husband's passing three years ago, Kathy is now ready to continue on the legacy her husband left of supporting fellow veterans. He had a couple uh, World War II friends way up in their 90s that I continued that friendship with them. And it was just, you know, I got more out of it probably than they did. A guardian's job varies by which veteran is assigned to them. Some guardians even care for two veterans at a time. A guardian's main goal is to care for their veteran in whatever way is needed. And unlike veterans where this trip is free to them, volunteers like Burnside pay for their own portion of the trip, all to give back to those who fought for their country. It's a privilege really for me to be able to do it. And uh, I'm excited as to who I'm going to meet because it's uh, it'll be a, a stranger that uh, or a friend that I haven't met yet. So. In Lost Creek, Barbara Ron, 12 News.